wondrous dharma lotus flower sutra the universal door of the bodhisattva who listens to the voices of the world translated by tripitaka master kumarahiva of yao chin incense praise incense in the censer now is burning all the dharma realm receives the fragrance from afar the sea vast host of buddhas all inhale its sweetness in every place auspicious clouds appearing our sincere intention thus fulfilling as all buddhas now show their perfect body namo incense cloud canopy bodhisattva mahasattva Namo, Incense Cloud Canopy, Bodhisattva Mahasattva Namo, Incense Cloud Canopy, Bodhisattva Mahasattva Namo, Fundamental Teacher, Sakamuni Buddha Namo, Fundamental Teacher, Sakamuni Buddha. Namo, Fundamental Teacher, Sakamuni Buddha. Verse for opening a sutra. The unsurpassed, deep, profound, subtle, wonderful Dharma. In a hundred thousand million, eons, is difficult to encounter. Now that I've come, to receive and hold it, within my sight and hearing. I vow to fathom, the thus come one's true, and actual meaning. Wondrous Dharma, Lotus Flower Sutra, the universal door of the Bodhisattva, who listens to the voices of the world. At that time, Bodhisattva Infinite Resolve, rose from his seat, bared his right shoulder, joined his palms, and facing the Buddha, said, O world-honored one, how did Guanxian Bodhisattva get the name Guanxian? The Buddha answered, Bodhisattva Infinite Resolve. Good man, if all the countless, hundreds of, thousands of, millions of, living beings tormented by misery and pain, hear of Guanxian Bodhisattva, and with all their hearts, invoke his name. Guanxi and Bodhisattva, will immediately, respond to their prayers, and set them free. If those, who hold the name of, Guanxi and Bodhisattva, should fall into a great fire, the fire will not, burn them. Because of, Guanxi and Bodhisattva's, awesome spiritual power. If they are being tossed about in deep and treacherous waters and call his name, they will quickly reach the shallows. If hundreds of, thousands of, my raids of, millions of men in search of gold, silver, lapis lazuli, tridacna and carnelian, coral, amber, pearls, and other precious treasures may run afoul of violent squalls that blow their ships to the lands of Raxasas. But if one man among them calls the name of Guanxi and Bodhisattva, then the entire group will all be saved from the throes of the Raxasas. For this reason, he is called the Enlightened One who listens to the voices of the world. If someone, facing deadly harm, recites Guanxi and Bodhisattva's name, the weapons of the assailants will break apart, and he will get away. Even if, the entire threefold, great, thousand-world system were teeming with yaksas and raksasas, bent on vexing men, when the evil demons Hear the name of Guanxi and Bodhisattva.
called out by these men. They will not be able to see them with their wicked eyes, much less do them in. If there is a person, whether innocent or guilty, who is locked in stocks or shackled by ropes and chains, his fetters will snap and fall away, letting him go free. As soon as he invokes Guanxi in Bodhisattva's name, suppose vicious thieves in legions that could fill a threefold, great, thousand world system, infest a perilous road along which a merchant chief guides a trader's caravan laden with precious jewels. If one man among them proclaims, good men, do not be afraid. With all your hearts, invoke the name of Guanxi and Bodhisattva, the Enlightened One, who gives courage to all beings. If we beseech this Bodhisattva, we will surely escape these thieves. Upon hearing this exhortation, if all the traitors in unison cry out, Namo, Guanxi and Bodhisattva, by virtue of calling out Guanxi is name, they will immediately go free. Infinite resolve. How imposing is the awesome spiritual power of the great Bodhisattva who listens to the voices of the world. If any living being with weightly desires can constantly revere and keep in mind Guanxi and Bodhisattva, his passions will subside. If someone with much anger can constantly revere and keep in mind Guanxi and Bodhisattva, then his anger will subside. If someone dull and foolish can constantly revere and keep in mind Guanxi and Bodhisattva, he will leave stupidity behind. Infinite resolve. The Bodhisattva who listens to the voices of the world with his magnificent spiritual power confers such abundant benefits as these. And so, living beings should always keep him in their hearts and hold his name in mind. If women seeking sons bow to and make offerings to the Bodhisattva Guanxi in they will give birth to sons happy, virtuous, and wise. If instead, they wish for daughters, they will bear gifted daughters with deep-rooted, wholesome characters, beloved and respected by all. Infinite resolve. Such is the power of the Bodhisattva, who listens to the voices of the world. Any living being who worships and makes offerings to Guanxi and Bodhisattva will never take a loss. Therefore, every living being should hold Guanxi and Bodhisattva's name in mind. Infinite resolve. Suppose someone held the names of Bodhisattvas to the number of grains of sand in 62 million Ganges rivers. And for this person's entire life, made offerings to them all of food and drink, clothes, bedding, and medicine. What is your opinion? Would the merit and virtue accrued by that good man or woman be abundant? Infinite resolve replied. Extremely abundant. World-honored one. Very great indeed. The Buddha said. Yet if someone else held the name of Guanxi and Bodhisattva, bowed and made an offering, but one time, the blessings of these two people would be identical, the same in every way, and would endure for quadrillions of eons. Infinite resolve, holding the name of Guanxi and Bodhisattva, brings blessings and benefits as limitless and boundless as these. Again, the Bodhisattva infinite resolve, asked the Buddha, world honored one, how does Guanxi and Bodhisattva wander in this Saha world? How does he speak Dharma for living beings 
And what manner of resourcefulness does he command? The Buddha answered, Bodhisattva infinite resolve. If there is a living being in some country, who can be liberated by a Buddha? Guanxian Bodhisattva appears as a Buddha and teaches him the Dharma. If someone can be liberated by a Pratyeka Buddha, he appears as a Pratyeka Buddha and teaches him the Dharma. If someone can be liberated by a sound hearer, he appears as a sound hearer and teaches him the Dharma. If someone can be liberated by a Brahma Heaven King, he appears as a Brahma Heaven King and teaches him the Dharma. If someone can be liberated by Sakra, he appears as Sakra and teaches him the Dharma. If someone can be liberated by the God of Comfort, he appears as the God of Comfort and teaches him the Dharma. If someone can be liberated by the God of Great Comfort, he appears as the God of Great Comfort and teaches him the Dharma. If someone can be liberated by a mighty general of the gods, he appears as a mighty general of the gods and teaches him the Dharma. If someone can be liberated by the god Vaisravana, he appears as Vaisravana and teaches him the Dharma. If someone can be liberated by a minor king, he appears as a minor king and teaches him the Dharma. If someone can be liberated by an elder, he appears as an elder and teaches him the Dharma. If someone can be liberated by a lay person, he appears as a lay person and teaches him the Dharma. If someone can be liberated by a minister of state, he appears as a minister of state and teaches him the Dharma. If someone can be liberated by a Brahmin. He appears as a Brahmin and teaches him the Dharma. If someone can be liberated by a monk or nun, a layman or a laywoman, he appears as a monk or nun, a layman or laywoman, and teaches him the Dharma. If someone can be liberated by the wife of an elder, layman, minister of state, or Brahmin, he appears as a wife and teaches him the Dharma. If someone can be liberated by a lad or maiden, he appears as a lad or maiden and teaches him the Dharma. If someone can be liberated by a god, dragon, yaksa, or gandharva, an asura, garuda, kanara, or mahoraga, a human, non-human, and so forth, he appears accordingly, and teaches him the Dharma. And if someone can be liberated by a Vajra-wielding spirit, he appears as a Vajra-wielding spirit, and teaches him the Dharma. Infinite Resolve Such are the meritorious deeds done by Guanxian, the Bodhisattva, who roams throughout the world and appears in various forms to rescue living beings. Therefore, you should all wholeheartedly make offerings to the Bodhisattva who listens to the voices of the world. In times of terror, crisis, and trouble, the great Bodhisattva Guanxian can bestow courage and dispel all fears. Therefore, all throughout the Saha world, we call him Giver of Courage. The Bodhisattva Infinite Resolve said to the Buddha, World Honored One, I will now make an offering to the Bodhisattva Guanxian. And so saying, he removed his rosary of pearls, worth hundreds of, thousands of, tales of, gold, and presented it to the Bodhisattva with these words. O humane one! Please accept my offering of Dharma, 
this rosary of precious pearls. But Guanxi and Bodhisattva would not accept the pearls. Infinite resolve. Once more entreated. Guanxi and O oh, humane one. Out of pity for us. Please receive the rosary. Then the Buddha said to Guanxi and Out of compassion. For infinite resolve. And the four assemblies. For the gods, dragons, yaksas, gandharvas, asuras, garudas, kanaras, mahoragas, humans, and non-human beings, and the rest, accept this rosary. Then Guanxi and Bodhisattva, out of pity for the four assemblies, for the gods, dragons, humans, non-humans, and the rest, accepted the rosary and divided it into two parts. One strand, he offered to Sakamuni Buddha, the other to the stupa of the Buddha many jewels. Infinite resolve with such sovereign spiritual powers. Does the Bodhisattva Guanxian traverse the Saha world? Then, the Bodhisattva infinite resolve put his questions into verses and asked them once again. World honored one, complete with wondrous hallmarks. Several questions I would ask again. How did this disciple of the Buddha earn the name Guanxian? Then the world honored one, his every feature full, answered in melodious verse to infinite resolve. Come listen, and I'll tell you Guanyin's story. How deftly, he responds to every side. Spanning ages past, the ken of numbers. With oceanic vows both, deep and wide. Serving ancient Buddhas, several billions. His pure and lofty vows, in brief I'll tell. Whoever sees his face or learns about him. Who can hold this Bodhisattva's name. Will leave behind the sorrows of existence. And so this cultivation's not in vain. Should you be pushed into a raging fire. By enemies so harmful, mean, and cruel. Evoke the strength of Guanyin Bodhisattva. The blaze will turn into a limpid pool. If cast adrift upon the mighty ocean. Where dragons, ghosts, and sharks in turn surround. Evoke the strength of Guanyin Bodhisattva. You'll float atop the waves and will not drown. Suppose an evil person pushed you headlong. From atop the peak called Wondrous Tall. Evoke the strength of Guanyin Bodhisattva. And like the sun in space you will not fall. Perhaps you tumble down from Vajra Mountain. Fleeing wicked ruffians who pursue. Evoke the strength of Guanyin Bodhisattva. And not the slightest harm will come to you. Surrounded by a mob of heartless bandits. Their weapons drawn, with murder on their minds. Evoke the strength of Guanyin Bodhisattva. Their evil hearts will soften and turn kind. If you are on the verge of execution. Sentenced by the state, condemned to die. Evoke the strength of Guanyin Bodhisattva. The sword will break to pieces just in time. If bound and chained, restrained by ropes and shackles. With hands and feet confined in stocks and gyves. Evoke the strength of Guanyin Bodhisattva. The fetters by themselves will fall aside. Hexes, poison, magic spells, and voodoo. Cast by those who plot to do you in. Return to curse the sorcerer who sent them. When you invoke the power of Guanxian. If you meet with evil Raksasas. Lethal dragons, ghosts, and vicious beasts. Evoke the strength of Guanyin Bodhisattva. None will dare to harm you in the least. 
circled round and trapped by savage creatures with razor fangs and claws that terrify evoke the strength of guanyin bodhisattva and they will quickly flee to every side facing vipers scorpions and pythons belching poisons fumes and scorching flames evoke the strength of guanyin bodhisattva they'll shrink and turn away before his name when thunder clouds explode and lightning crackles dumping sleet and hail and heavy rains evoke the strength of guanyin bodhisattva the skies will clear the storms will drift away living beings harassed and vexed and troubled by countless sorrows burdened without cease this bodhisattva's wondrous wisdom power can help the suffering world obtain relief perfect and complete in psychic power widely versed in wisdom's subtle skills in lands throughout the ten directions the bodhisattva manifests at will the agony amid the evil pathways the torments of the ghosts the beasts the hells the pains of birth the aged sick and dying the bodhisattva gradually dispels O thou of true regard of pure regard regard far-reaching wise and truly great thy loving kindness sympathy and deep regard I vow to ever laud and venerate your wisdom son can break apart the darkness immaculate your virgin light unfurls to quell disasters winds and storms and fires a universal light for all the world wellspring of compassion precepts thunder your wondrous cloud of kindness covers all extinguishing the fires of life's afflictions as the rain of sweet dew dharma falls in trials suits and civil confrontations when fear runs high when warring armies near evoke the strength of guanyin bodhisattva vengeance and bad feelings disappear fine and wondrous sound guanxian Brahma sound, steady as the tides. A name transcending every worldly sound. Guanyin. Stay forever in my mind. Let not a single doubt arise to haunt us. For Guanyin Bodhisattva, holy sage. Amid life's troubles and the pains of dying. Will ever be our refuge and our aid. O holy one replete with every virtue your kindly gaze beholds all living beings a boundless sea you are of every blessing and let us bow to offer our esteem then bodhisattva guardian of the earth arose from his seat went before the buddha and proclaimed oh world honored one living beings must have abundant merit and virtue to hear this chapter on guanxi and bodhisattva's sovereign deeds and how he universally responds with his spiritual power and while the buddha spoke this universal door chapter eighty-four thousand living beings from among the assembly set their minds on achieving anatara samyaksam bodhi wondrous dharma lotus flower sutra the universal door of the bodhisattva who listens to the voices of the world nama hala tana talayaya Namo Aliya Varo Kide Sivarlaya B
Bodhi Sattvaya Maha Sattvaya Maha Karu Nikaya Om Sarva Labaye Sutta Nadasya Namo Sikritva Ibang Ardiya Varu Gite Sifra Lamtafa Namo Nala Kiti Heli Maha Vada Same Sarva Ada Dusubam Ajayim Sarva Sada Narma Vasada Namo Vaka Marva Dudu Tadiata Om Ava Loki Lokate Kalade Ehele Maha Bodhi Sadva Sarva Sarva Mala Mala Mahe Mahe Letayam Guru Guru Karmam Dru Dru Vajayade Maha Vajayade Dala Dala Dili Sephalaya Jala Jala Mama Vamara Mutele Ehe Ehe Jinta Jinta Arsam Blajari Fasa Fasam Blasjaya Hulu Hulu Mara Hulu Hulu Hari Sala Sala Siri Siri Suru Suru Bodhya 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 Maitreya Nala Kinti Tarli Sinina Paya Mana Svaha Sitaya Svaha Maha Sitaya Svaha Sita Yuge Svalaya Svah Nala Ginti Svah Mala Nala Svah Sela Sem Amukhyaya Svah Sarva Maha Asitaya Svah Chakra Asitaya Svah Pat Maka Sitaya Svah Nala Kindi Vagaraya Svah Mava Laysan Karlaya Svah Nama Hara Dana Dalayaya Namo Aliya Varu Kete Svalaya Svah Om Siddhyam Du Mandra Pataya Svah Guanyin the Great Knight prays. The Great Knight Guanyin. Perfect and pervasive are his titles. Vast and deep are his twelve great vows. Saving living beings from the sea of suffering. Listening to their sounds, and saving them from sufferings. There is no land where he does not manifest. Namo Guanxi in Bodhisattva, Mahasattva. Namo Guanxi in Bodhisattva, Mahasattva. Namo Guanxi in Bodhisattva, Mahasattva. Guanyin Bodhisattva, Twelve Great Vows. Homage to the thus come one Guanyin, whose name is perfect penetration, and self-mastery, and vowing to extensively, make great resolves. Homage to the thus come one Guanyin, whose single thought, is unobstructed, and vowing to constantly, 
Dwell in Southern Sea. Homage to the thus come one Guanyin, who resides in Saha world, and the hells, and vowing to follow the sound, and rescue those who are in suffering. Homage to the thus come one Guanyin, who subdues the deviant demons, and dispels dreadful monsters, and vowing to dissolve all crises, and difficulties. Homage to the thus come one Guanyin, who holds a vase of pure water, and a weeping willow branch, vowing to sprinkle sweet dew, in the minds of living beings. Homage to the thus come one Guanyin, who has great compassion, and can joyfully give, vowing to constantly practice equanimity. Homage to the thus come one Guanyin, who roams day and night so that there is no damage and decay, vowing resolutely to do away with the three evil paths. Homage to the thus come one Guanyin, who vigorously bows in homage to the southern cave, vowing to cast of all shackles and fetters. Homage to the thus come one Guanyin, who builds Dharma ships, and sail the sea of suffering, vowing to rescue all living beings. Homage to the thus come one Guanyin, who is adorned with banners, in front and jeweled canopies, in the back, vowing to lead beings to the western land. Homage to the thus come one Guanyin, who has attained the state of the Buddha of limitless life, and vows to receive a prediction from Amitabha Buddha. Homage to the thus come one Guanyin, whose well-formed body is incomparable, and vowing to truly cultivate these twelve resolves. Praise to Guanyin. Guanxian Bodhisattva is wonderful past gratitude. Pure and clear are his adornments, gained through practice ages long. See vast a red lotus flower fragrant, rests beneath her foot. Bay curve of an autumn moon, is in the crescent of her browns. Everywhere and constantly, sweet dew sprinkles from her vase. In his hand, the willow branch, through the countless autumns. Prayers depart a thousand hearts, in a thousand hearts the answers. Sailing the sea of suffering, crossing people over. Namo greatly kind and compassionate. Bodhisattva of the crystal land. Who dwells on Patola mountain, and contemplates the sounds of the world. Namo Guanxian Bodhisattva. Namo Guanxian Bodhisattva. Namo Guanxian Bodhisattva. Verse for transferring merit. I vow that this merit will adorn the Buddha's pure land. Repaying four kinds of kindness above. Aiding those below in the three paths of suffering. May those who see and hear all bring forth the Bodhi heart. And when this retribution body is done, be born together, in the land of ultimate bliss. Adi da Fat TV